Zephaniah chapter 1. The Lord gave these messages to Zephaniah when Josiah son of Ammon was king of Judah. Zephaniah was the son of Cushai, son of Gedaliah, son of Amariah, son of Hezekiah. I will sweep away everything in all your land, says the Lord. I will sweep away both people and animals alike. Even the birds of the air and the fish in the sea will die. I will reduce the wicked to heaps of rubble along with the rest of humanity, says the Lord. I will crush Judah and Jerusalem with my fist and destroy every last trace of their Baal worship. I will put an end to all the idolatrous priests so that even the memory of them will disappear. They go up to their roofs and bow to the sun, moon, and stars. They claim to follow the Lord, but then they worship Molech too. So now I will destroy them, and I will destroy those who used to worship me, but now no longer do. They no longer ask for the Lord's guidance or seek my blessings. Stand in silence in the presence of the Sovereign Lord, for the awesome day of the Lord's judgment has come. The Lord has prepared His people for a great slaughter and has chosen their executioners. On that day of judgment, says the Lord, I will punish the leaders and princes of Judah and all those following pagan customs. Yes, I will punish those who participate in pagan worship ceremonies and those who steal and kill to fill their master's homes with loot. On that day, says the Lord, a cry of alarm will come from the fish gate and echo throughout the newer Mishnah section of the city. And a great crashing sound will come from the surrounding hills. Wail in sorrow, all you who live in the market area, for all who buy and sell there will die. I will search with lanterns in Jerusalem's darkest corners to find and punish those who sit contented in their sins, indifferent to the Lord, thinking He will do nothing at all to them. They are the very ones whose property will be plundered by the enemy, whose homes will be ransacked. They will never have a chance to live in the new homes they have built. They will never drink wine from the vineyards they have planted. That terrible day of the Lord is near. Swiftly it comes, a day when strong men will cry bitterly. It is a day when the Lord's anger will be poured out. It is a day of terrible distress and anguish, a day of ruin and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom, of clouds, blackness, trumpet calls, and battle cries. Down go the walled cities and strongest battlements. Because you have sinned against the Lord, I will make you as helpless as a blind man searching for a path. Your blood will be poured out into the dust, and your bodies will lie there rotting on the ground. Your silver and gold will be of no use to you on that day of the Lord's anger, for the whole land will be devoured by the fire of His jealousy. He will make a terrifying end of all the people on earth.